we on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then what's going on, everybody? In America. In New York. Overseas. On the moon. What's going on in the kitchen? Bop, bop. What's going on in the kitchen? Bop, bop. What's going on in the kitchen? What's going on in the kitchen? Did you see my foot? Yeah, I saw your Because I can kick for a talker. In your underwear. How's everybody doing? What are we making today? Some sort of pork with cannellini. Tuscan pork and creamy white beans with roasted pepper and caper relish. Those white beans are otherwise known as cannellini. Mm -hmm. So what have we done so far? Oh man, what haven't we done? Tons, I, Tuscan pork. I made this caper and roasted red pepper mm -hmm. dealio. If it's not, I don't think it's a caponata. There's no eggplant, but it might you be a tapenade. It might be a tapenade. You have to stir that. Oh, I have to stir this. Yeah. No, with, with this. the spoon. With, the, with right. this spoon? Yeah. Yeah. We got some creme fraiche in here and? with the beans and, and some crushed red pepper and some salt. Mm. We got the pork. That pork. What kind of spice was that in? Squeeze. It says Tuscan spice. Tuscan spice. I don't know what I smelled, man. It's it smells good. Saffron or well, I don't know if it was saffron or I don't know what it okay, was. I don't know what the they beans. put in the Tuscan spice, but man. We have our kale over here. Garlic. Cover the beans, yeah? Yeah. And so the next step is into the pan of reserve corn that we have right here. Yep. We're going to add the kale. And it says cooking, stirring occasionally one to two minutes or until slightly wilted. So let's get the heat back on here. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of kale. So yeah. it's going to have to cook down. Oh, yeah. That's how you do that. Yeah, make a mess. That's how you make a mess. That's all right. I'm in my kitchen. Yeah, but I get to clean. See, there's way a lot of kale. I'm not complaining about abundance. <laughs> abundanza. We're going to stick with the Italian theme, and we're going to say it's an abundanza of kale. An abundanza, baby, a true bonanza, an extravaganza. Okay, until slightly. A spectacular. That's until Spanish. slightly, slightly wilted. Slightly wilted. Yeah. That's what she said. He wasn't because she wanted to make him feel nice. Any day now. Squeeze. How was your day? Not great. No. My day was okay. I'm glad for you. I'm happy for you. You should be stirring this. You got to come home to me. Don't burn yourself, please. So I should be stirring this? Yes. Not yet. It says not so slightly wilted. Are you going to be having any of the garlic kale? No. Are you going to be having any of the cannellini and creme fraiche? No. Are you going to be having the capers and peppers? No. Oh, no. You want me to get fat on our diet food? No. You're just having pork? Yeah. yeah. And then it says, uh, once they're slightly wilted, which I think they are, to add the demi-glaze. Once it starts to get slightly wilted, add the demi-glaze, right? Yeah. As careful as the liquid may splatter. And a fourth cup of water. What happens with the apple cider vinegar? Not yet. Okay. Demi please. I'm asking because I want to make sure that we don't drop the ball on one of our great ingredients from Blue Apron. You did the water part? No. Yep. And I did the demi-glaze part. Spreading around, man. Look at that. Spread the love. 
cook stirring occasionally, Spread and up. scrapping up any fond two to three minutes or until the kale is wilted and the liquid has cooked off. All right. Demi glaze is in. Now stir it. Scra it says scraping up the fond from the pork. Scrape it up. Scrape it up. In the middle, too. Mm -hmm. Let us know when you think the kale is right. Stop. Always yeah. surprised the way this kale cooks down, man. I mean, I get it. I've seen it with my own eyes. I understand it. I understand the physics behind it, the anatomy, the biology of the kale. I know that there's a lot of water in it, but a lot of water, man. I mean, it's cooked down to about, I dare say, about half of what it was. Right. When do you think you'll think it's wilted? I think it's wilted now. Okay, turn off the heat and you have the vinegar. Chef Joel. Turn off the heat and yep. add the vinegar. It yeah. says stir in the vinegar. So it says after this, you have to stir it in. And then when you make the relish, it says you should add a half a teaspoon of olive oil to the bowl of the capers and the peppers. That's the next step. Okay, so it has been stirred in. So what now? Leave that there for a minute. Okay. Then you're going to take the half a teaspoon and put olive oil in with the capers and peppers. Olive oil in with the capers and peppers. And stir to combine. And stir to combine. Wow. Okay. It's about... Half, right? <laughs> There's a little overflow, a little over, a little overage and dropping stuff. Wreck. Yeah. Start to combine. Okay. So now we plate. Pick which piece of pork you'd like. Okay. I choose this one. Okay. Put it on this plate? Yep. All right. It says to slice the pork cross crosswise. Okay. Let me get you a knife. Crosswise, huh? See, Joel, no. That's not where you cut it. Not at all, right? No. You cut it on the counter. That's where bad people are. You learning from this? Yeah, don't do what Joel does. Ever. It's not good news. Great. Now we are going to come over to the kale. I'm going to give you some kale. Give me your plate. Awesome. Okay, now let's get to the beans. Yeah. 
Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, awesome. and now you're gonna top with relish. And now top with the relish, right? Mm -hmm. Should I be stirring that relish? You did already. Okay. What do I top? Everything? No, the pork. Pork. Okay. All done. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. This is theirs. Yeah. Theirs. Ours. So much better. The best. Okay. Um, tell a friend. Yeah, tell a friend. Um, like. Go ahead and like this. Comment on it. Uh, listen to my 69-minute Eargasm podcast. And go ahead and rate and review that. Um, you can find me on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Joel Gertner, mm -hmm. CelebVM.com slash Joel Gertner. You can find me on Twitter at StudMuffinSays, and on Instagram at QuintessentialStudMuffin. And until next time, Gucci!